Hi guys, welcome back. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I hope you liked the last coloring video of the Kawaii Kitty and uh, the pumpkin. And I added all of the glitter in case you don't remember. So um, anyway, I thought let's add some fun metallics in this classic comic coloring book. Can I say that any slower? Um, so yeah. So I originally thought, let me add some cool um, effects to a page I already colored, but then I was like, no, I want to do something where I'm adding just metallic paints to certain aspects of this picture. So that's what we're going to do. I think it will be a lot of fun and comics. And this style is where I have always drawn my inspiration. And one day when I share with you my art that I have uh, have made for others and have created for different um, arts and craft shows, and you'll see that my style sort of goes along the lines. Anyway, that's enough babbling. So I love this one. I just love the style. It's very 50s and let's do it. So, all right, I'm just going to fast forward the rest of it. I hope you enjoy.
So yeah, this is mostly dry, but that is the, this one, extreme glitter in red. And it really, when I'm using this dotting tool, you know, I get, there's a tiny end and there's a tiny end and a bigger end. And I'm really layering that Mod Podge on the section that I want for part of me if I'm using the glitter. Let me back up a little bit. When you're using the glitter, you're going to want to scoop up some Mod Podge and lay it in where you want to put the glitter and then put the glitter on top. But when I'm using this, it's basically the same thing. I'm just scooping up the paint and sticking, sticking it on the section and you're going to want to lay that flat so it dries in place. So I thought that looks pretty good for not even done and I believe that is I think that's only one coat you have to correct me if I'm wrong um I like the metallic blue so I'll show you that one by folk art and does this one have a name uh blue topaz 651 so, um, and I really like using the dotting tool to add, um, paints. It's just, I feel like I have more control over it. It might take a little bit longer, but you know how a paintbrush, you can get like the streaks and I don't know. That's just the way I like to do things most of the time. But look at that really nice sheen it has. It's really nice. And then I did her lips and her shirt in this uh, crimson folk art pure artist pigment naphthol crimson so yeah that is very very pigmented and um, I thought it would bring down the cohesion of love in the shirt and I added the gold in his watch and in her hair and this is the metallic glorious gold by deco art and then you saw me with my pen because once i found out i could go over an area of metallic with a sharpie this isn't a sharpie though um then i was able to go back in and at re-add some of the hair features that would have been lost with going over this with the metallic. So don't be afraid to try. I mean, the worst that can happen is that, you know, maybe you have to paint over it or you can tear it up and use it in your glue book for some interesting, um, things. And yeah. And then I never get this exactly right, but, um, I like adding the dots behind it. And I was trying to make it, you know, while this is still a little bit wet, I'm over here trying to yeah it didn't work you saw it but anyway from far away it looks good and I love the metallics in this book oh my goodness so you're gonna see more of these and oh I did add more to his hair um just simply because you know hers was pretty filled out and I thought it would be nice for his as well I actually thought of adding but it's covered up a little tiny crystal right here for like say you know his watch but you can't see that and other things that I would add sometimes are little dot um, details but I think this is good it sort of gave me a chance to try these just in this regular paper and again this book is called the classic comic book creative coloring for grown-ups and let's see, who's it by? Okay, here is the information. Take a screenshot of that. Your ISBN number. And that's what the back looks like. I wonder if it tells us in the front. It doesn't... Hmm. I just realized that. It doesn't have like a forward... Pardon me, I have allergies. It doesn't have a 
forward or anything to tell us. Oh, nope. Yeah, no, nothing. So I was thinking I might go in here and add some of the little sequin, not sequins, but the glitters uh, to this. And yeah, so the unfortunate thing about this book is that if you use certain markers, it's going to go through to the other side. And actually, I'm pretty impressed, guys. The only thing that went through was his hair, the black marker from his hair. Are you kidding me? The metallics did not go through. Wow, that's great. That's a game changer. Oh, that's a game changer. So guess who's doing metallics in this whole book? And it'll sort of look pretty cool because, you know, it's uh, black and white. And then I can just take the main characters and use the color on them. Let me show you what the other one was. I don't even know if I showed you guys this before. But I liked the way this came out. So um, I love uh, fonts. I love large uh, letters and text in my art. And you'll see that when I do share with you some of my art. Yeah, so that went through. And I don't know what kind of marker that was. I feel like it was just these little Crayola markers. So anyway, but I originally picked these two because I wasn't interested in the ones on the back. So yeah, yay. Okay, well, I think that was a success, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much. If you're still here, I really appreciate you sticking with me and listening to me ramble and hanging out with me. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.